This is Mike with CSTactical.com. Here I hold a Smitten Bender 1 to 8, a true 1 to 8 system. It's mounted up onto a 223R. We have the CMC trigger in there. The CMC trigger did a great job for allowing me to go for groups and for speed. It was a nice clean trigger. The, going back to the scope, this is again the Smitten Bender 1 to 8. It has locking turrets. Uh, the locking turrets were pretty nice. The one thing I didn't really care for is that they were kind of somewhat hard to pull up when you were in position, but pushing them down was pretty simple. Illumination is a really nice illumination system. You go to your one direction will illuminate for daytime brightness. The other direction illuminates the whole reticle um, or the center of the reticle. Um, it was pretty nice. The, uh, also, the daytime bright dot is extremely bright, so you can pick it up really quick. That's a good thing because of the fact that one power, actually almost like three power and under, I felt like you couldn't really pick up the reticle fast enough. So definitely at one power, it was definitely needed because the, if you're just trying to use the reticle itself, you couldn't pick it up fast enough. So the illumination is definitely needed for this particular reticle that's in here. This has the, their mill dot, tactical mill dot reticle in there. Um, going to the rest of the power range, I felt at four power, you could start really using the reticle. And then at eight power, it was definitely clean. And I really liked it at eight power. It was nice for it to be able to use for at precision shots at that, that magnification. The rear eyepiece is nice and big, uh, so it gives you a big field of view. Um, the whole scope is a really, really nice package. I'm really pleased with it. 30 millimeter tube. You got uh, just a nice typical glass that you'd find in Smith & Bender. We're not gonna go over the tracking test and how good the glass is, really, because of the fact we know Smith & Bender's been tried and true for these things. Overall, I give this a good a scope, a good high rating. The only thing I would like to see a little bit better would be an, a little bit more of a usable reticle down at the lower powers so that we wouldn't have to rely upon the illumination. Other than that, I felt like it was a great scope. If you have any more questions, go to cstactical.com and ask them there. Thanks for watching.